just because we've already done the work. Um, ready? Okay. So we're going to add one on both sides. Then we're going to divide by two on both sides. Cosine squared of 2x equals 1 half. Then we're going to undo the square root or under squaring by taking the square root of both sides. Cosine of 2x, as I've already kind of shown over here where I showed my math, that's going to equal plus or minus the square root of 2 over 2. Does everybody follow me? Okay. Now, I'm going to try to find, I want to find all the answers between 0 and 2 pi. Okay. However, we're not solving for x anymore. We're solving for 2x, right? However, to find the angles that satisfy that equation, we're still going to use what we did before. So just pretend that's x. So you'll just say 2x equals pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. Okay, Those are my answers. right? That equaled x in this problem. However, we now see that we're solving for 2x. James, I th you told me you weren't going to do that again. So what I need to do is, just like I solve any other equation, I'm multiplying by 2. I need to now divide by 2. So therefore, I now have x equals pi over 8, 3 pi over 8, 5 pi over 8, and 7 pi over 8. Okay. However, it says find all of the solutions. I don't know if there's more solutions. But if you guys think about this, halfway around a circle is pi, or 4 pi over 4. So if I'm breaking it up into 8s, halfway around a circle is 8 pi over 8. So that means I might still have some solutions in this bottom half. So the only way I can do that is understand, well, what, do, what, did, how did, what was the difference between each of these angles? It was what? Pi halves n, right? So I can find more angles by adding pi halves n. So if I divide that by 2 as well, I get um, plus pi over 4 n. Now, obviously, you see you want to divide this in 8s. So it's really adding 2 8s is the same thing as one pi over 4. Does everybody see that? 2 8s is the same thing as pi over 4. So my other set of solutions are going to be 9 pi over 8, 11 pi over 8, 13 pi over 8, and 15 pi over 8. If I do 17 pi over 8, that's over 2 pi. Would everybody agree with me? So. There is my solution set. There's eight solutions. Now, you're only going to have one question like that on your quiz, guys. So 